Hi everyone, Rob Wiseguy82 here. Um, my last video on my uh, set of Cross Plus 100 cut off at the end, I was just talking about uh, Alan Moore uh, doing the obviously starting that series and then uh, the Plus 100 series. And then uh, I read that he handpicked Simon Spurrier to do the second story arc. Uh, he's also doing the third one, uh, 6 through 12, and then 13 through uh, whatever it ends up being. So uh, I don't remember the artist. Um, so yeah, I really enjoy where it's going. It is uh, the crossed are, you know, they're, they're to reverse. And again, they're learning, they're, you know, almost like holding classes, they're communicating, they're in community, building, very strange, uh, thinking clear instead of just rage, uh, very interesting, um, we are, we have regressed quite a bit in this, uh, in the way that we speak in the story, so, very interesting on that, um, uh, I can't imagine that was very easy to write. Much appreciation that's uh, on that aspect. So um, I don't really know much else. Um, like I said, I keep saying it's not for everybody. Um, si uh, Simon Spurrier also did We uh, Wish You Were Here, uh, Crossed Wish You Were Here, which is four volumes. And it takes place on an island with a group of survivors in Ireland or Scotland. I believe it's Ireland. Um, so I've also got, uh, uh, an unboxing, and I started this video once already, um, I already opened this, and it, but cut off on me, it messed up. So, uh, what was in this is, I've been waiting on this for a while, this is, uh, I just missed this, uh, Harrow County, this is the first print, number one. Um, I just missed this, so I've always had the, uh, obviously the second print. Uh, so I'm very happy to finally get this. You know, I've always seen it for, you know, 15, 20, 25 bucks. I think I got it for 10 and a couple bucks ship, uh, shipped I wanted for. So I was happy with that. This is one of my favorite horror books. Um, going on right now, if you don't know about it, check it out. It is amazing. Cullen Bunn does, is doing a lot of really great stuff right now. Except apparently some people don't like Aquaman. I'm not reading it personally, so I can't say anything about it. And Tyler Crook is doing the art on it. It is absolutely amazing. I love it. Uh, I was in the middle of doing this one when I cut out. Um, so I started it. I still It's still taped in there. It came in this. I don't always like these, but I have some. I have pretty good luck with it. Looks pretty good. Um... Uh, we're going to be very careful. So, yeah, I don't really think I have, any, have much more to say about uh, The Cross, but it is, you know, it's really good, really good storytelling. Um, this one, I think, is, at least so far, it's definitely, it has its moments, but it's not, it doesn't seem to be as disturbing, I would say, to some people. So I, I think it might reach a little bit more. Uh, a few more folks so hopefully it's really amazing hopefully that'll get them you know maybe that'll soften them up and desensitize them enough to try the other ones um, I don't know what does it say if you can just read that stuff but whatever I like it I enjoy it I appreciate the art I appreciate the storytelling you know these guys that have uh, that put those things out that's uh you know, it's, like I said in the video, it's, you know, it's probably absolutely what it would be like, what every movie camera pans away from. <laughs> okay, anyways, this right here is, uh, it just came out, and uh, I really enjoyed it. I haven't seen a lot of people pick it up. I hope it catches on. This is Xsend. I got the first two covers. At cover price, this one I paid a little bit more for. Uh, I won it for twelve ninety nine, shipped. This is the New York, yeah, the New York Comic Con, 
It doesn't say it on the front. Maybe it says it on the back. But it looks like, I mean, it looks like some watercolor. I mean, it is just a gorgeous, gorgeous cover. And each cover has the, uh, it's like a, it's got the, a main character on it. Uh, the best part about this one, guys, is that it says it was limited to 250 copies. So I figured I'd give it a shot. I really enjoyed the story. I hope it catches on. Um, Xcend. And this is uh, written by, I believe, Shane Davis is the writer. And then Michelle Delecki, Maury Holloway. I really enjoyed this, guys. If you haven't, you know, check it out. It's a good one, I think. And then, this right here is almost open. I don't know what, I didn't know what that one was, because I have a few things that are coming, so this one is kind of a surprise, too. I did get a couple, uh, things from New York Comic Con. Uh, I didn't go, obviously. I still haven't been to my first con yet. I'm so jealous. I can't wait. Uh, so maybe this is another one. I'm going to look first because you guys got to last time. Yep, this is an awesome one. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, wow. All right, so this one, um, and again, guys, if you can ca jump on these early, like I, you know, Twelve ninety nine. It says there's only two hundred and fifty copies of these. Twelve dollars and ninety nine cents. And then this one right here is already selling for way more, and it is. I like it. It's. Uh, I read it. I really enjoyed it. I can't wait to see what he does with it. This is clandestino number one. This is the Comic Con, New York Comic Con edition. Uh, very limited as well. I think it said there was only 250 of these. Um, I did get this one for uh, 15 and 3.99, so under 20 bucks. I'm okay with that. Really great black mask. Uh, 250 copies. New York Comic Con. I'm not really sure how you can go wrong with that. Uh, anybody feels different? I'm full for getting these books. Um, I don't know. I, like I said, I, I enjoy the book, so I seek out the number ones. Uh, I don't get all the variants to all the other ones. Um, I'm not sure what that says about me and the community, if it says anything. But I really, really enjoy it. So, uh, these are my three books that I got right here. I have a few more things on their way. <laughs> um, I read the Scotty Young. This was funny. Um, I know a lot of people are like, okay, yeah, well, well where can you go with it? Uh, hopefully, that will have been taken into consideration and this will go into some kind of really neat and exciting way. Haven't really read anything from Scotty Young. Uh, obviously, I'm familiar with his art. Um, really cool. I liked it. It was fun. Um, this, I just took... I'm about to read this. String Divers. Uh, I enjoy it. It's... Uh, Interesting. I am waiting to see where it goes, kind of. Um, it's like they just threw us into this world, really don't know much about it. So hopefully we'll get some explaining going on. A um, little tagline says, Effects requ uh, Require Cause. Effect Requires Cause. By Brian Wood. So uh, this is issue three. It does say it's only four issues, I think, or six. So hopefully we'll get some cool explaining in this. Um interesting book. I don't even really know how to explain it. All about physics and science. I enjoy it. it. Makes you think. Or maybe I'm just thinking too much about it. Anyways, that's what's next. Um, yeah, hope everybody had a great day. I will see you in a couple uh, at least, or maybe I'll try to get uh, I haven't done a number one uh my favorite number ones in a couple of days uh but then i was thinking you know if i don't have all of them yet i 
I can just get all at once. So uh, we'll see what happens. Um, again, I hope everybody had a great day. And uh, I'll see you next time, guys. Peace, love, and comics. God bless.